congratulate me, my dear. Frederica's aunt and uncle have taken her back to Churchill. I thought you'd grown to enjoy Frederica's company, so. Comparatively, a bit. But I'm not so self-indulgent as to want to wallow in the companionship of a child. Lass, I fear this is our last meeting. At least while Mr. Johnson is in life. His business at Hartford has become extensive. If I continue to see you, he vows to settle in Connecticut forever. Oh, you could be scalped. I had a feeling that the great word respectable would someday divide us. Your husband I abhor, but we must yield to necessity. Our affection cannot be impaired by it, and in happier times, when your situation is as independent as mine, we will again unite. For this, I will impatiently wait. I also. May Mr. Johnson's next gouty attack end more favorably. 